Scar Tissue, 1993, is a novel by Canadian academic, writer, and former politician Michael Ignatieff. Ignatieff's second novel, it was nominated to the shortlist for the Man Booker Prize. The novel is narrated by a philosophy professor as he watches his mother suffer through the stages of dementia, a debilitating and incurable disease. The narrator blends memories of his childhood, during which his father suffered an early death, with analyses of his parents and reflections on his personal journey into academia, composing a meditation on the brevity of human life. The novel was inspired by Ignatieff's own experience watching his mother die from Alzheimer's disease. The novel takes place in a series of flashbacks that branch off from its present day, in which the narrator's mother is in the final stages of dementia. He begins to peer back farther than his own memories reliably extend, into the 1950s, when his parents first married. His father was a Russian immigrant who worked as a soil scientist. On the side, he tended their family's farm and helped raise the narrator and his brother. The narrator explains his early memories while deeply self-conscious about his own genetic predispositions to the same diseases that were, and are, his parents' undoing. He suggests that, in retrospect, his father's death due to a fatal heart attack was virtually inescapable. He generalizes this notion of inescapability, lamenting that human beings tend to have enough knowledge to understand the arc of their destinies without having the tools to substantively change them. After the narrator's father died, his mother slipped into chronic depression, causing other mental illnesses to emerge. His brother went on to become a neuropathologist, a decision that the narrator believes stems from his feudal position as a child watching his parents succumb to disease. His brother researches dementia, hoping to find some way to reverse or delay its erosion of their mother's identity, claiming always that it must be the titular scar tissue in her brain. The narrator, on the other hand, strives to discover proof that death endows the human experience with value, and is not something to fear. This pursuit is mostly a lost cause and results in the dissolution of his marriage. Meanwhile, their mother moves into a psychiatric hospice institution where she is treated poorly by all but one nurse. Depressed and paranoid about his own genetic predisposition to dementia, the narrator correctly diagnoses it in himself years before doctors can confirm it. He goes through a period of frustrating self-destruction, alienating his children and former partner. At one point, he becomes fixated on one of his brother's patients, who is slowly dying of ALS. He wonders whether he would exchange one disease for the other, ultimately doubting whether this question can lead to any useful meaning. The novel also embeds fragments of other literature, from the popular writings of the humanist psychologist Oliver Sacks to non-scientific expositions on the nature of disease and death. Despite the cyclical tragedy of death that Ignatieff's narrator observes at the levels of body and identity, the novel ends on an optimistic note, suggesting that there is some hope of rejoining of a pure reality, beyond death. This reality, while not human, still constitutes a form of life. Scar tissue offers solace in a metaphysical notion of selfhood that transcends the ailments of the body and mind. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.